Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, we talk friends, and we talk fun. Today, let's do something a little bit different and talk about some of my favorite books about writing. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so if you've seen this video here, then you know what I'm gonna be talking about. Ooh, it's still so fresh and new. Uh, I have signed up for some writing classes at a local university, and I started this past week, and it's really getting the creative flow out of me, and I wanted to I started doing this, but I want to gather all of my books that I have about writing and keep them on the separate shelf, like near my desk where I usually do most of my writing. So I wanted to share those with you. So um, there's all different ones from all different time periods. So this is actually a book that um, I had in college and I never returned <laughs> because I knew it was one of those that you buy and then when you turn it in, you got like, back in the day, you got like $2 for it and you paid like a hundred some dollars for it. Like is, selling college textbooks was insane back in the day. So this is one of those and I love it because of all of the different um, authors that are listed in here. This is literature for composition. This was one of my favorite um, literature classes in college. One of my favorite teachers that actually recognized um, the writing uh, talent that I had within me, I guess. And it just covers so many different. It's literature for composition, essays, fiction, poetry, and drama, third edition. Gosh, I wonder what edition they're on now. And this was copyright 1992. So that's a long time ago. But I still hold on to it. Okay. Then this was a book that I th think Ooh. I have to check the date. I think I picked this up at a library sale and this is readings for writers. And basically that's exactly what it is. It's the fifth edition. Readings for Writers is an inclusive anthology with readings organized around a unique labeling system. As in all four previous editions, most chapters consist of the following, a model section, an advice selection, discussion selection, and example selection. So we have pre-writing, what should I sound like? What is a thesis? Then we have writing. Outline to paragraph, best way of following through, how to write a definition, how to write a comparison or contrast, how to write division and classification, how to write a casual analysis. Gosh, the existence of God, wow. Why doesn't it make sense? What's the right word? All kind of different um, things. Writing about literature, writing for the sciences. Really, really good stuff. So it's just something for me to page through um, get some inspiration, get some direction. I hold on to it. And I think I got it at a library sale. I think. I'm not sure though. Okay, then this is something that I picked up at Five Below. Do y'all have Five Below near you? It's kind of like a, a dollar store, but it's a bit more kid, tween friendly. They have t-shirts, they have candy, they have all kinds of stuff, but they have a really good book section. Do you ever go to the Five Below book section? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is one that I picked up a bunch of years ago and it's 300 writing prompts and that's exactly what it is. It's questions uh, that they want you to write about. So I'll page through and pick one. What do the clothes you are wearing now say about you? And then write about it. Look around you right now, what's wrong with this picture? What's the best excuse for being late that you have ever heard or used? I don't even know. Oh, mm, probably shopping for a gift for a friend to the party that I was going to. <laughs> 
What requires your patience today? Like just good stuff. So I'm going to page the, I mean, I honestly didn't use this at all. It's like that thing, right? Where you think you wanna do it, but you're not sure if you wanna do it, and then you don't do it and you put it down because you don't think you're worthy of doing it. You don't think that you have the talent to take it on, but guess what? You do, you do. So all of those negative thoughts that are in your head, tell them to shut the fuck up, okay? So yes, I'm gonna be using this uh, when I free write. So great, great prompts to use. Mary Oliver is one of my absolute favorite poets. And a few years ago, I picked up the Mary Oliver, a poetry handbook, a prose guide to understanding and writing poetry. And she goes through introduction, getting ready, reading poems, imitation, sound, more devices of sound, the line, some given forms, verse that is free, diction, tone, voice, imagery, revision, workshops in solitude, and a conclusion. So if you are an aspiring poet, a poet, someone that's interested in getting involved in poetry, Mary Oliver is not a bad place to start if you ask me. She's my absolute favorite. Okay. Then we're, we have some books in here for the creative process. This is Still Like an Artist by Austin Cleon. And I also have, I don't know if I have it here, but it's also uh, Still Like a Reader. And that's all about reading. That came out for Independent Bookstore Day last year. And basically it's unlocking your creativity. So on the back, it says there's 10 things. Steal like an artist. Don't wait until you know who you are to get started. Write the book you want to read. Use your hands. Side projects and hobbies are important. The secret, do good work and share it with people. Geography is no longer our master. Be nice. The world is a small town. Be boring. It's the only way to get work done. And creativity is subtraction. It's short, it's good, it's powerful. You can really just flip to a page and get something out of it. Here's an example. Good theft versus bad theft. Good theft. Honor, study, steal from many, credit, transform, remix. Bad theft. Degrade, skim, steal from one, plagiarize, imitate, and rip off. Steal like an artist. Buy. Austin Cleon. Next is a book that I was gifted by a subscriber and I can't wait to dive into it. I hear it's fantastic. Rick Rubin, The Creative Act, A Way of Being. This is going to be so good. Rick Rubin, do you know who Rick Rubin is? Yeah. Whoo, man, there are a ton. There's 78 areas of thought. I'll just point out a couple. Patience, submerge, subconscious, it's always there. Self-doubt, make it up. Habits, experimentation, greatness, success. Openness, tuning out, spontaneity. Shades and degrees, clean slate, play, let it be. Why make art? What we tell ourselves. Can't wait to get in on this. It's going to be good. Then another subscriber sent me this lovely book by one of my favorite authors. And this is Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. Some introductions on writing and life. Now I love Anne Lamott's books. I have two up there. Um, Anne Lamott is uh, nonfiction and she has a very snarky voice to her. She has um, a lot of humor. She talks about her experiences. Um, she's fearless in sharing what she's been through. And I just love the way that she writes. I love the way that, you know, her books are so poignant and sharp sometimes. And I really do enjoy that. Um, let's see. So we have part one, writing, getting started, short assignments, shitty first drafts. Plot, dialogue, set design. Part two is writing the writing frame of mind. Part three is help along the way. Part four is publication and other reasons to write. So I'm really excited to read this. Stephen King on writing. I read this. I, I devoured this last month. And I, 
I can't say enough about this book. I gave it five stars. Read, I'm reading Stephen King now, and it's just... The way that he does his craft is like no other, and it's amazing. Like, I don't know how he kept it all straight, but fantastic if you're looking for a book about writing, something to get you started, something to take you deeper. Really, really good. Then this one is Dryer's English. I think I talked about this once before, but a fantastic follow on social if you don't follow. This is An Utterly Correct Guide to Clarity and Style by Benjamin Dreyer. Dreyer? Is it Dreyer or Dreyer? I've always said Dreyer, but I think I'm mispronouncing it. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. Benjamin Dreyer. We're good. <laughs> A witty, informative guide to writing from Random House's longtime copy chief and one of Twitter's leading language gurus. I haven't finished it. I kind of skim this one and I go through um, the table of contents. So there's you know, grammar, misspelled words, notes on proper nouns, rules and non-rules. I haven't read this from cover to cover, but I probably will now. All right, and I think that's all that I have. And then we have this, and this is my book of writings, basically, that I'm transcribing. And it's tough transcribing it because some of these go way back. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see if any ideas are born out of this. And that's basically my shelf. That's my writing shelf. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a really positive and creative time in my life. I think that in a roundabout way, I was always supposed to be in this space. But it just took me a long time to get here because things weren't lined up, if that makes sense. But I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad that you all are here. And um, I want to give a special shout out to the members on my channel. There is a member section that people can join if you want deeper insight into my writing. Um, I'm not going to do videos on my writing. I'm not going to share for the general public. It's something that is close to me and something that I'm very vulnerable about. But um, if people want to support my artistic endeavor, I'm willing to share, if that makes sense. So if you're interested, there's a link down below if you just want to check it out. You know, it's just, I want to share it, but I want to keep it close too. I hope you understand that. Okay. So that's basically it. All right, everyone. That's it here from me. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you toyed with the idea of writing? Are you a writer? Are you an author? Which do you prefer? I prefer a writer myself. I don't, don't think I could ever call myself an author. I'm a writer. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right. I hope you are all doing well. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. Be creative. Be artistic be yourself. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone, goodbye for now.